I didn't have the energy to go anywhere, I didn't want to do anything. Went to see my doctor and he said I had heart disease. I went to McKD and sure enough I had to have a stent put in. Then I had to have three stents put in. And then I had to have them redone again. And that's when the doctor told me it's time to do a, a bypass because it was getting pretty serious. I was scared. I had all these tubes coming out of my stomach and, and I saw that big tall bandage where I knew that scar was underneath. And it was, it was a bad feeling. I started getting depressed really bad right then and there. As I got to know Jeffrey over a few visits, I realized that one of the major barriers for Jeffrey was his disease management with his diabetes and with his diet. He wanted to make changes. He was really sincere about it, but he didn't know how. Jeffrey is a patient that we identified in the community care management team who we thought could really use our services. He had some chronic pain, he has diabetes, he had struggled with depression off and on throughout his life, and all of his physical health barriers had really played a role in his mental health. Trina came along and uh, her helpers, and it's like my life started to change. As a team, we can approach the patient holistically. We get to take the patient and look at the whole picture and from there decide, you know, what resources do we have that we can bring to them in their home and help them live better. What kind of things to look out for? How to eat properly with his lifestyle? He's very busy, he's a business owner. So with our support from our program, Jeffrey learned a lot about his disease management. I have noticed that there's been a decrease in the amount of times I've had to see my doctor, as long as I do it untold. Going to the hospital since I've had the uh, bypass, I haven't been back. I just feel a lot better now. To send somebody to the patient speaks volumes for how much Intermountain Healthcare is invested in making sure that they manage their diseases and live as healthy as they possibly can. The majority of our patients have multiple conditions that need to be addressed, but we're also looking at their preventative health because sometimes with chronic conditions, when they've been seen in the healthcare system, it's to address a certain chronic condition. But have they had their mammograms? Have they had their colonoscopies? What about vaccines? So we're also looking at all of their preventative health. We are educating and empowering these patients and making them feel that they have the right to ask the right questions. They have the right to make sure that they are in the loop and that we are working together as a team and that basically they are the captains of their own lives and they can go ahead and decide how far, what they would like to do, how are they going to be affected and then we provide the resources and give them the tools to get there.